All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 7 to the sky, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, we did some fun stuff last episode, guys. We set up the auto sifting of dust and sand. Um, yeah, I, I have been a little busy. Uh, it's not been very long since our last episode. I've been cracking at it. But guys, look, we have a total of five netherite scraps. So we're going to utilize those today. Yes. So we're also going to make some gold because we're going to upgrade the sift in here to the netherite tier because we want to. Now, uh, really, like, because it's very important that the thing getting us netherite, uh, we continue to, you know, get netherite from. Um, like, like if we upgrade something else, like we won't, we'll get netherite at the same speed. But now we have a netherite ingot. We need to make a smithing station oh wow they hit the wrong button there we go shebang okay nope don't want to put it there we'll put it here cool so let's go grab that mesh from here there's nothing uh, being processed actually there's one being processed that is okay oh maybe we'll take that cool so we just go like this and bam, we have another red mesh. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we have it. This will help us, you know, get more netherite because I believe the chances go up by like five or ten percent, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, use is here. Um, yeah, so five percent. I thought that was higher. I could be wrong. Let us check. So between so point four to five percent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that we did that. <laughs> oh, wait, do we already have another one or did, what? <laughs> I don't know, did we do that? Um, but yeah, the next one we're gonna be upgrading is the dust one so we can get more um, redstone. But yeah, for temporarily, I'm gonna grab these and sift these so we can have a lot more redstone because I'm impatient. So we'll come over here. The good thing is uh, there's no difference between uh, the chances of redstone between diamond and emerald level. Uh, so this doesn't like, we're like, oh, we're wasting things. You could be doing emerald. Like I have a bunch of emeralds, but uh, we'll have to upgrade that to go to netherite, but that's okay. But yeah, we need a lot more redstone uh, to process more of the uh, netherrack so that we can get more netherite and upgrade our stuff. So yeah, very cool. Uh, I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Look at all that redstone. Yes. And let's see the, did we get the redstone from the sifter here? Let's check. So it's 25% chance. Is it the same? 25 and 12.5, 25, okay. So it's the exact same, that's okay. That is a little bummer actually. But uh, yeah, that'll be processing up. We'll get more netherite, we'll upgrade all of these things. Uh, do we get an extra thing when we upgrade? No, we don't get anything extra at all. 5%, 7, 7, 3 and 6, 3 and 6, 20, 20. It's the exact same. Why Why would it do that to me? Anywho, we've also been using the sky stone dust over here. If you put it into lava very similarly how we do with redstone, we get uh, sky stone bricks. So we got the superheating element, the crucibles, super uh, very similar setup, just a little bit different, a little bit more simple because we don't need all the sifting things. Uh, and the cool thing is we could sift, like uh, hammer this and sift it if we wanted to, but I, I don't think I want to. Um, what do we even get when we do this? Oh, I mean, we do get Surtis Quartz, so it might become handy in the future. Um, what is the difference between those two? Why would we ever upgrade to Netherite? You know? Like, what? The final mesh, cool. We have, this page is completely done, getting started. But, like, why would we ever do that? Okay, let's claim all of our quests here real quick. We got advanced control unit, XP. We got some nether quartz. We got eight. That's nice. That's real cool. Okay. But yeah, skystone is what we'll be building a lot. Like these pillars will be replaced with skystone and it'll look really good. Um, yeah. So more netherite, the better. Look at that. We already got two. So cool. 
But yes, last episode we did set up the sand, which means we have uranite automated here. We don't have to do anything. We just continue to get it. So I think it'd be cool to maybe get into the power reactors. Um, so yeah, we're going to see here. We need to smelt this up. Is there a way to get better? Energized smelter, no. Okay, so it's just one to one, unless you do their method of energizing, which we'll probably set up an automation for that in the future. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we just, um... hmm, we need clay. Um, what is the best way to make clay? Oh, we can, we can do it through create. But beware, I think the best way to do it probably be just to pump it into a barrel similar to that, but with water. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that going on. But anywho, we might actually just make one for clay eventually in the future. That might not be the most terrible idea in the world, you know. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and use these uh, stone barrels over here and we'll make some clay. Okay, so we got a decent amount of clay here. Uh, I think that should do us pretty good for a little bit. Let's see about making some of these guys. Yeah, we should have so many of these. We're gonna utilize all that clay we just made. Yes. Okay, so we should not run out of the dialectic or paste for a little bit. Power, okay. So the reactor here, the starter one, don't we need it to get to the next tier? We do, okay. Um, let's see. Forget three by four by, three by three by four. It's 36, so we need a total of 36 of these guys. So we need to craft these nine times. So we need to smelt these up. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these in the smelter here. We're gonna break these up amongst three so that it can be more faster. Yes, more faster, <laughs> more faster. Okay guys, so one of the things we desperately need if we're gonna make a power reactor uh, is ice. And so I just went to the Twilight Forest and grabbed some snowballs from the icy biome. Um, yeah, we're not really allowed in there, but I was able to vein mine a bunch of snow that was there, and so we were able to, to get a bunch. So yeah, we're gonna be making a blast chiller, oh, sorry, a blast chiller this guy, uh, but we need packed ice in order to do that. And the only way I know of that we can reasonably do it without silk touch is to compress some snowballs to make some normal ice and then we just compact them uh, normally. So yeah, we're making a compressor now. Um, so yeah, we need a machine block. We basically need everything. But the cool thing is, is that it should be relatively simple to do. Um, here we go, we have our, oops, our uranite is all done. Cool beans, we're just gonna put a bunch of the snow in here. Um, and I did grab another firefly jar. Um, so yeah, canopy tree sapling. Ooh, I didn't realize I grabbed one of those. Very cool, okay. So yeah, we have a bit of uranite. We need to make the blast chiller. We need to make this guy. How do you make the middle guy with glass? And that dude, okay, so we'll grab some glass from, our sand from here, smelt it up, make some glass. I think we actually have some glass already within our uh, thing, but we just need more, always need more. So I think something we might wanna do is uh, upgrade our furnaces too, and maybe move them a little bit closer here, maybe set up two of them right there. Um, but yes, okay, and then what about this guy? We need LV cables, which means we need rubber which means we need to cook some slime. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so we can cook slime. So we need one, two, we need six slime to be cooked. Now we definitely have enough cactus for that. The snad has been great. The sugar cane is growing at an, a, a, a crazy rate. Um, yeah, while we're while we're here, let's just move move these furnaces closer over to where we are. So here, how are we doing on storage? We're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. We don't need to worry too much about it. Cool. So let's throw this in here. And there you go. There you go. So let's just take half of these and throw them over here. Very cool. 
Okay, so we've got quite a few of the industrial grade thingamabobbers. They're good to go. So we need this guy here. Wow, that gave us 24 of those. That's a good deal. Okay, machine block. Cool. And so all that's left is these low voltage cables. Bam, these should be done. Oh, KB. Oh, not that guy. We need this guy. And boom. So we have those guys. So we should be able to make this circuit guy. Bam. And then this guy. Very cool. Okay, so we have the compressor. Believe no. Okay, so yeah, we can't break that. I was a little worried. What about an energy acceptor? No, is it not going to work with an energy acceptor? Uh, let's try it. We'll grab some snowballs here. Dang, I was hoping it would work with an energy acceptor. Okay, so we might need to make an FTB industrial. Okay. So here we go. We need to make, that's a windmill powered furnace macerator. We need to make a generator. Compressor centrifuge. EV box quarry pump. That's cool. Battery box, teleporter, charge pad. Where is our generator here? Max input. Hmm. Machine block. What are your uses? Presser, charge pad, advanced, macerator, roller, centrifuge, we're on canning machine, MV, extruder. Hmm, what about you? Maybe you're useful in some kind of power? Okay, um, I'm not finding these. Let me see if I can find the generator. Okay, I think this is our guy that we need for this. It's quite a, a process here. Um, okay, so we do need one more. Okay, I do have another slime ball, so we can make that, which is good. Not too expensive. It's all like kind of kind of expensive, but iron furnace. Let's make this guy up. Okay, so everything but this guy has been made. Okay, so we just need one cable. All right, that's all we need. Beautiful. Okay, so basic gen. Oh, we didn't make the battery yet. There we go. And the basic generator, cool beans. All right, so let's grab some charcoal. We're just gonna throw this guy here, basic generator. We'll toss that in and bam, there we go. So we throw this in here. It's gonna start making ice for us once it makes 18 ices um, <laughs> will be ready to go. So let's see, we're almost done. So it's one to one, okay. So that is freaking awesome. So I'm gonna let that process here for quite a bit. And yeah, we'll be good. Let's see how much redstone we got over here. Oh yeah, we'll take these 28, we'll throw them here. Beautiful. Look at that, 12 netherite scraps. Mm -mm -mm. That is beautiful. Okay, so we can turn this one and this one into netherite meshes. Very good, very, very good. Okay, so here you go, max mesh, here you go, max mesh. It would be cool if that was fast, like if it was faster if you did that. Okay, so that's still going good. All right, and then the next guy, I guess we're gonna do this one over here. We'll upgrade this mesh up to emerald. That's pretty simple, like so. And then we will just combine it here with another right ingot and bam, max tier meshes all around. <laughs> I love it. I love it to bits. I love it, I love it, I love it. Cool, so these guys are still doing good. I did put the uh, all the hardened upgrades and a couple of these actually have the reinforced uh, ones. So these are producing like 120 RF per tick if we need it. So really, really nice. Um, yeah, let's grab some more snowballs. Snowballs, there you go. We have 10. Beautiful, how close are we? Okay, let's work on crafting everything else. We don't need these here. Blast chiller. 
Okay, we don't have a tin gear. Oh, didn't mean to make 64 tin gears, but that's okay. All right, we got a machine frame. We need to make an invar gear, or two of them. We need to make the redstone flux coil. Okay, so now all we need is the ice. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close, everyone. Oh, man, blast chiller. And this is important because we do need ice to go into our reactor. And we haven't even got to the reactor yet, which is crazy. Let's go crazy. That's what I'm telling you. It's crazy. Okay. So we just need three more ice. Two more ice. Man, this is this is intense, that campsite. All right, that should be it for ice. Yes, now we can make the blast chiller amazing. Okay, so let's get a sink going here. This is our next goal. Okay, so we just need a bucket of water. Oh, the bucket of water. Cool beans. All right, so now we got that. Cool, so sink here. Sink is very important. Cool, so once we pump water, or yeah, we'll pump water into this guy. Uh, we can just put him right here or her. I don't, it's, it's a machine. There's, I don't know why we did that. Um, yeah. So now we go pipe. Cool beans. Do, 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 do. We will pump the water in here. Beautiful. Now that will make ice for us. Um, and then we need a multi-servo press. This guy here, we need two of these actually. Okay, so let's start making them. Cool, we got two of those. We need some constant tan. Where do we, how do we make this in the kiln? Copper and nickel, okay. So copper and nickel. All right, I, I did make some electrum in here that was really cool, just super basic. Gold and silver, all right, well at this process, all right, so we got the four Constantan ingots that we need. We just need to make two of these guys, and we should be good to go now. Yes, one. Oh, wait, we need one more redstone flux coal. We're out of redstone. Actually, we're not. We have redstone here because we have it automated because we're cool. Very awesome. Okay, so here we go. Redstone flux coil. Bam. Shebang, there we go. Okay, so the reason why we have two of these is because we need two. Duh, I'm just kidding. Um, we need to be able to press. I need, hang on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, let's see. Let's look at the multi-servo press. We need unpacking, no, we need the packing die. We need two of these. So let's see here, Invar and Constantan. Okay, cool, so we have enough Constantan. Let's see here. Constantine, and then we need, what was that, copper one? No, Invar. Oh, we need a couple more of these guys, actually. There we go. Whoops. We need this guy. Cool. So now that we'll pack it in there. We're probably going to need to bump this out by one block, actually. 43 ice in there. Ice blocks. That's good. That's real good. Okay. Uh, and then we need the cable. I need to bump it out. I need to bump you up. <laughs> okay. So we can go like this and then the blast chiller. And then the multi-servo press. So this is where we're importing, exporting, importing, and then we'll export out the top. And then we'll put this guy here. We'll put this guy here. And then we will put this guy here. And we will do this. And we'll do this. And so that will make some packed dice for us. And when we have a total, oh, auto eject on, auto input. We can turn on to eject and we'll get another drawer on top to contain all of our packed ice. So here we go. And I don't think we'll have any yet. Yeah, we have four. Uh, we want blue ice actually in here. Blue ice is one of the best other than the ice that's actually from Powa um, that I don't know how we get. 
Let's see here. Yeah, this dry ice. Okay, so you just you combine two blue ice in the energizing, and that gives you dry ice. Okay, that's pretty neat. We can automate that later once we put some like upgrades into these guys, but we want to keep our system able to run, so we're not going to do that just yet. But the ice that we have will suffice for now. Cool. So these guys are good to go. We have ice ready to rock. Um, we also have some redstone. That was another reason why we were waiting is for the redstone to kind of catch up. So we'll put some of this in here to make some more sky stone. And we will get this far departed. So this is going to require quite a bit of redstone. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it quite yet. 32. Okay, so we'll turn those into here. We need these guys. Okay, so we need a lot of bars. It's like we're wrapping or something. We need bars. Oh, wait, we already made those. We need a couple of these. We'll say 32 of those. And I know you can convert them, but I don't really want to do that. Don't at me. Cool. So we have the nine that we need. All right. Yo! Yo, 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 the bucket is going, bam. All right, bucket's in. So yeah, we put the ice over here. We're gonna take some of this packed ice. We're gonna throw it here. Okay, so that's gonna give us some good, good coolant. We need um, redstone, which I don't know if we have, and we need some charcoal. We have eight, eight redstone. <laughs> Jeez, okay. We're running really, really low. Okay, so that gives us carbon, gives us some more efficiency. Redstone will give us some fuel consumption which is okay, and then we just need to put in the um, uranite. So once the uranite's in, we can, you know, have fun. Let's test it out. Uranite, uh, no, uranite, no, uranite, uraconite. Oh my gosh, I feel silly. Anywho, let's go ahead and throw this in there, and it's on. We are generating... 231 FE per tick. We can turn on auto mode, but now we can plug that right into our system. Let's get some cable. And I do know that this isn't generating, you know, like a stupid amount of power right now. However, it will very soon. As soon as we upgrade it to the next, I think two tiers from now, it just, it goes guys, it just goes, but we need more redstone in order to do that. So let's grab the configurator here. We'll grab this guy. And we will pull, no, not push, pull power out of this. So this will go to our system. So now we can actually start to maybe upgrade these guys. Um, let's see, 100 degrees Celsius. It's doing good. We have 100, yeah, we got a lot. So we can actually start to work on, you know, like maybe increasing the speed at which these guys go so we can get more redstone and, you know, more uranite to continue to pump into here. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Super Turtle, and we got into power. We got more power, baby. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out.